I want to welcome you guys. Summer is coming to an end, but I have a lot of exciting things coming up. I am headed to um, Holland next month. I'm doing three days in um, it with Superstar again, so I can't wait to see all my friends in Asterhut. I'm also heading to England with Illusions Magazine um, in November, so I want you guys to check out the website. It is illusionsmagazine.co.uk. Uh, check it out for all my tour dates. I cannot wait to see everybody uh, in the UK. I'm really, really excited about that. So if you guys like what you see, make sure to check out my blog you'll find out where I'm going to be, where I'm teaching classes, or log on to Fabba TV uh, for the best learning anywhere. I'm going to start off by using this fairy tale rainbow cake. If you guys know me, you know I love the pinks and the purples and all those pretty colors, and so does she. She's growing up. I love her. So I will start off with my rainbow cake. Um, I'm just going to spritz it. Spritz the top of it. Make sure that you get it nicely. Je sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to spray you. But get it generously loaded because uh, you want to make sure that all the water kind of moistens the colors. And I take my sponge and I just swipe it directly across so that I get um, a nice load on my sponge. Uh, now that her eyes are closed, all I'm going to do is start off on this kind of 45 degree angle. And I start off over her eyes and I start coming into her eye right inside of there. So even though a little bit went under the eye right there, that's okay because I'm doing a full mask design. So you want it to kind of go right underneath the eye as well. So now that I have one eye done, then I'm just going to flip it over and make sure that the blue is right there in the middle so that I can bring this mask all the way across because you want the colors to kind of be evenly blended. So notice what I did. So this blue is going to come all the way across and then I have to flip it over so that I'm on that side again as well. Now the, coat, the lights in the studio tend to dry the paint so I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to have her close her eye once again and I'm going to start on that 45 degree angle. I come down, kind of come underneath the eye right inside of there, fill it in. I'm going to be picking up one of my favorite arty cakes. This one is called Winter Sparkle. It has a combination of blues, but as you can tell, this isn't really a winter mask. It's going to be more of a flower mask, but you can still use it. So I took a number 12 brush and I'm just loading it back and forth over the surface of my arty cake so that I'm picking up uh, blues and whites on it so that I can do some of the line work. So I'm going to start off in the middle of the forehead right here and I'm just going to make a half circle just like that. So I have this kind of half circle and I know that the blend is hard to see from that angle. So then all I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in the middle, press and twist, flip it, press and twist. So that I start getting these multicolored petals. Press and twist and flip it over, press and twist. Now the reason that I'm flipping it when I press and I twist and I press and I twist is because you want the dark color on the outside of the of the entire way around. So I'm going to come down here, press and twist, press and twist. And if your if your bristles start splitting, I know it's hard to see. When they start splitting like this, it's because you need to load it with more paint. So then I'm just going to follow this around. Press, twist press, twist, press, close your eyes for me, twist, just half circle by the corners of the eyes and start building those same petals of pressing, twisting, pressing, and twisting so that you're getting multicolored flower petals from, or blended flower petals should I say, from every angle. Another half circle and then I'm going to start with the same concept. Press, twist, press, twist, press, twist, press, and twist until I round out and create all of my flower petals. Now when you're building a mask, what I like to do is I like to say, okay, I make my center points and my side points because then I know all I have to do is kind of connect everything. 
So what I mean by connecting is that if I have a start and a finish point, it's a lot easier to say I just have to fill in this area or fill in this area because you already know the direction the design is flowing in. So that's what we're going to start off by doing. I'm going to pick up my uh, double low, my double filbert brush, and it has two little uh, two little bristles on it, which make the perfect double teardrops. I'm going to load it up with white. Because we're going to put down the teardrops first and then we'll fill in using, um, and we'll start outlining. So once you have your brush really loaded, all I'm going to do is connect here to here, here to here, here to here. So I'll start right here where you can see it. And I'm just going to press and bring it in. Press and bring it in. Just like that. So you can see these lines kind of have these split edges to them. So what I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other side. So my longest one, press and bring it in, one on the top and one on the bottom, so that I have all those nice edges. And then I want this to come in. So I'm going to start at the edge, and I'm going to bring it in, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then I'll do that here the longest one, and one on the top, and one on the bottom. So now my whole entire mask is matching. Notice it's one full piece that kind of comes into the center. So I'm going to start off by giving all my little flowers a little bit of detail work. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go in the middle of it and very gently I'm going to start making a spiral for the center of my flower there and on the sides of each of each does, uh, uh, flower on the side. So spiral so that, that I can get the center on each one. And then I'm going to just gently outline all of the flower petals. So I'm just going in and I'm going to give them a quick outline. And I'm going to come in in between them and make a second petal with no uh, color inside of it. So right inside of there. And then what I do on the middle one, I'm going to follow through on the rest of them, giving them a gentle outline. In between these sections right here, I'm just going to build off of it with a few dots coming out of here. So I have my dots right here at the bottom and I'm gonna what I do on the bottom I'm gonna do at the top to make sure that I balance it out. So I just did a few dots here coming out of it on either side. Just like that. And I'm also going to create some dots clusters right inside of all of those open uh, flower petals right inside of there to kind of give it a contrast. All right, so to finish off this design, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of black and I'm going to give it a little bit more of definition along these edges right in here just to kind of sharpen up this mask. So I'm switching over to a smaller brush. This is a number one. Normally I wouldn't even go this small, but um, this is what I had in front of me, so this is what I'm going to use. So all I'm going to really do is kind of sharpen up the edges of these uh, teardrops. So I'm just going to follow the edges in on them, and I'll do a close-up so you can see what I mean. Now the beauty of having that brush that's split in the end is that that brush gives you that shape already okay so you see how I have oh, my video is boring her but you see how I have this nice kind of double edge right inside of there the brush already does that for you so that's a really helpful speedy tip especially if you're looking to create that effect so then so I'm just gently going over it with a little bit of a black outline to kind of make it pop, especially against these beautiful colors. 
So as you can see, I just sharpened it up right there. And what I do here, I'm gonna do on the other side. What I did is, all I did was come off of here, kind of follow that shape in. And then I just came around, and then I will do the same thing up here, came off of it, came in. All I have to do is just go right in the center and give it the same outline just to kind of bring it all together. If you want to fan out and this way, you're really going to make everything stand out, especially with the black. So now I've added just a little bit of glitter, I mean a little bit of lipstick to my beautiful, beautiful girl. And then you guys can see this super fun mask. Um, you can always change this up by just following the same principles of saying start in the middle, add it to the sides, and build off of it. You want everything to be nice and flowy and just kind of come all together at the end. So I want to give you a high five. Thank you guys again for joining us. Thank you, Leah, for being back in the studio. I hope you guys all are doing wonderful, and I hope to see you in England really, really soon or in Holland. And we're doing a bunch of other classes, so make sure to check out the blog to find out where we're going to be next. Have a great day.